And we have actually two or three parties uh, doing quite good in the polls. One is the Prime Minister's Party, Social Democracy. Um, she has the experience. Uh, she's uh, very calm in this election. She's talking about the crisis. I mean, we have an energy crisis. We have, we have inflation. We have the war in Ukraine. Um, and she's just doing uh, quite well. Then we have, which is new, we have a former prime minister. He was prime minister for the Liberal Party. His name is Lars Lugger Rasmussen. Um, he was uh, kind of thrown out of his own par old party. So he is now has created a new party, the Moderates, uh, which is a more middle party. Uh, he is doing really good uh, these uh, last days uh, and uh, he might be the man who can decide whether it should be the social democrats or the liberal slash uh, conservative party who should uh, form the uh, government after the election immigration used to be a big thing here in denmark but now all the major parties has more or less agreed to a very strict uh, policy when it comes to immigration. So that has actually means that the issue is not discussed anymore. There's, the conflict is basically gone on that issue. At the moment, it's really, really tight. There's like no way of telling which way it's going to go. It could go to the Social Democrats or it could go to almost any of the smaller parties in the liberal conservative bloc. So it's very difficult to predict how this is actually, actually going to play out. Mette Frederiksen has got Denmark through the corona pandemic. She has uh, got us through, at least partially, the Ukraine crisis and the security situation with Russia. Uh, she, she's, and she's arguing that she's also want to, are able to get through Denmark this inflation crisis when it comes to energy prices and, and food uh, has risen dr drastically in Denmark. Um, so, so she's playing this game as a statesman. Uh, uh, vote for her is the safe choice, as she says.